Hi everybody, I'm Chris Wook from Android Authority. Now if we look into the future, there are a lot of very cool looking phones on the way. But when you talk about what's available right this second, the HTC Droid DNA is one of the coolest phones currently available. So what we're going to do for you is today, we're going to show you 11 tips and tricks to get the most out of your HTC Droid DNA. That's right, this list goes to 11. <laughs> Now the Droid DNA does an awful lot right out of the box, but there are still things you can do to get more out of it. Whether that means improving performance, getting better battery life, or just having more fun with your phone. So let's get started with number one. Our first tip, use best shot. Now you may already be aware of this tip, but I was actually mocked by a few fellow Android Authority team members for not being aware of it. So I figured I would save our viewers from that very situation. When taking a photo, just hold down the shutter button to take up to 20 photos in very rapid succession. Then you can either use Best Shot to automatically select the best photo for you, or you can keep all the photos and pick the best one yourself. Number two, change your lock screen. Now I'm not talking about a pin or face unlock here. The HTC Droid DNA allows you to customize what is shown on your lock screen. Under settings, go to personalize, then lock screen style. You can choose from the standard wallpaper lock screen to productivity, which shows your notifications, to photo album, weather, people, clock, stocks, music, or even choose to have no lock screen at all. Number three on our list, turn off three finger gestures. If you're an HTC Media Link user, you might want to leave this setting on, but if you're not, this option will actually prevent other apps from using three finger gestures at all so you'll probably want to turn it off. Under Settings, select Display and Gestures and uncheck the box next to HTC Gestures. Now other apps will recognize Three Finger Gestures instead of just HTC Media Link. With tip number four, we return to customizing your experience by creating custom scenes. Selecting Personalize under Settings will allow you to change a number of options such as wallpaper, your skin, and sounds. You can save these to a custom scene rather than overwriting an existing scene. Simply hit Scene, then tap the menu, and hit New. Now you can change your visual settings and even your home screen layout, then return to another setup later on simply by selecting a different scene. Our fifth tip, turn off Fast Boot. Now most of the time you may want to leave Fast Boot turned on as it does exactly what you'd imagine, it makes your phone boot faster. The problem is that it does this at a price. The best way to think of it is like the hibernate option on a PC. Your phone isn't really fully turned off, so you're not completely unloading everything from RAM when you turn off your phone. If you want to make sure that you're actually rebooting from a clean slate, go to settings, then battery, and turn off fast boot. Now when you reboot your phone, you're really rebooting your phone. Passing the halfway point at number six, flip your phone. No, don't flip off your phone. This little trick can do a few cool things. If your phone is sitting on a desk and starts to ring at an inopportune time, just flip it over to shut it up immediately. This same gesture also has a cool effect in the middle of a phone call. Flip your phone face down during a phone call to engage speakerphone, then just pick it up again to turn speakerphone off. Our seventh tip doesn't work in every app, but when it does, it's very handy. In certain apps like your contacts or the built-in mail app, scrolling with two fingers offers additional navigation options instead of just scrolling. In contacts, for example, it allows you to scroll through a list of letters. For users with a lot of contacts, this could be a major time saver. While most of the previous tips have been useful, our eighth tip is just plain cool. The camera app on the HTC Droid DNA has an option for slow-mo video capture. Simply enable it in the Scene Options menu in the Camera app and shoot away. The only problem is that you take a major hit in video quality when you use slow motion. Still, it's fun to play around with. Number 9, enable swipe style typing in the Sense keyboard. We've talked about replacement keyboard apps plenty of times in the past, and swipe is one of the most popular. Luckily, a similar style of typing is available right in the Sense keyboard on the Droid DNA. Simply go to Settings, Language and Keyboard, then hit HTC Sense Input. Find the Trace Keyboard option, enable it, and now your Sense Keyboard works almost exactly like Swipe. Our penultimate tip, 
get better battery life. Now, we could go much more in depth here, but there are a few things you can do right away that will immediately result in better battery life. First, turn off automatic brightness and set your display to a low but usable brightness. Second, if you're using a Wi-Fi connection, turn off mobile data. You can also go to Usage under the Battery menu and close any apps that are using a lot of battery. It may not seem like much, but these methods combined will help squeeze out some crucial extra battery life on a busy day. The final tip on our list, unload unused apps from RAM. The recent apps button on the Droid DNA is useful for switching back and forth between oft-used apps, but there's another handy use for it that you may not know about. As you scroll through the list of apps, you can flick any apps you're no longer using off the screen. Not only does this remove them from the list, it actually removes them from memory. For example, if you have a tab open in Chrome, fling Chrome off the screen, then watch how the app needs to reload the page the next time you open it up. And that, my friends, wraps up our list. Now, obviously, there are so many different possible tips and tricks for the HTC Droid DNA that there's no way we could fit them all into one video. So if you have a favorite tip and or trick that we left out, please let us know in the comments below. Now here's the thing, we have new videos going up all the time, so if you want to make sure you don't miss a thing, make sure to subscribe to our channel. I am Chris Wook from Android Authority, and thank you for watching.